welcome to the Tiny House Ideas podcast. Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of the Tiny House Ideas podcast. My name is Harry Alvarez Garman and I'm really, really excited to be sharing this with you. Um, today's episode is going to be a quick one. Basically, I'll give you guys a brief introduction to me, tell you more about where Tiny House Ideas started, where it is now, and also discuss what you guys can expect from the podcast, where to find it, and um, what the episodes will be about and the sort of guests that we've got lined up. So stay tuned to hear more about me and to get an insight into what the podcast will be about. Welcome to the Tiny House Ideas podcast, the show where we talk about how to live a more fulfilling life with less. My name's Harry Alvarez Garman and I've got tons of exciting guests lined up for you, including authors, entrepreneurs and tiny house owners. If you love minimalism, sustainable living, personal development and everything in between, then you're in the right place. On the show, we'll be talking about how you can do more of what you love, how to turn your passion into a career and how to live more sustainably. So I'll start by introducing myself properly. My name's Harry, Harry Alvarez Garman. Um, I'm a student here in the UK and I'm studying furniture design and manufacture in Oxford. I own and run Tiny House Ideas. It was an Instagram account that I started about sort of five or six years ago now. Um, in fact, I've got the date here. It was the 2nd of April, 2015. I started Tiny House Ideas. So obviously since then, in the last five and a half years, the account has grown into what it is today. And I'm super excited to be launching my business, Tiny House Ideas as well, which has happened in the last few weeks. I'm really, really into traveling. Last year, I went on a trip around Europe um, I traveled around sort of nearly 15 countries in Europe and it sort of was really, really liberating. I really enjoyed the sort of living out of my backpack, having everything that I needed with me for this six or seven weeks in my bag, on my back, um, sort of just felt really liberating and freeing. And I know the sort of the whole minimalism culture, the whole travel culture is something that I'm just completely in love with. And I sort of, all of the travel, architecture, food, that sort of stuff is all my main interests. So it was sort of, yeah, really cool to live out of a backpack. And I think that the minimalism side of things is something that I definitely explore at the moment. I would call myself a minimalist. And traveling really opened my eyes to living with less. And it's something that I really want to explore more in the future. My sort of main ambitions, at least for the next 10 years or so, is to be able to sort of create a business that will sort of allow me to work from anywhere, allow me to sort of be a digital nomad, I guess, um, and sort of be able to travel anywhere with my laptop and and work on on my own hours on my own terms and like a lot of people in the tiny house movement live life live life how you want to rather than sort of following the the standard nine to five the standard sort of typical american dream that um has been ingrained into us so the, the podcast is sort of about unlocking some of those things and as well as me showing sort of my personal journey and how I'm sort of looking at doing that and um, there'll be insights from other people who, from other people who have done it themselves who have sort of stopped the rat race found out it's not for them and hopefully inspire you guys to to do more of what you love to live a more fulfilling life to live with less my love for tiny homes and small spaces started when I was a 14 15 year old boy I was watching YouTube videos and then up came a suggested video about a 16 year old that had designed and built his own home and if I remember rightly it was for a school project he was building this in his garden with his parents help and it sort of just really really appealed to me sort of being at the teenage stage of sort of looking towards independence and obviously I love designing and making things anyway so it sort of all, all aligned in my brain I sort of thought this was something I wanted to explore so I started watching loads more videos got into tons and tons of YouTube polls watching all these videos all these tiny house tours and then as the sort of weeks progressed as I was sort of doing a bit more research and, and learning more about them I just found my camera roll was getting completely filled with pictures that I'd find on Google Images, pictures I'd find on Pinterest, on Instagram. And me being a bit of like a neat freak and organization kind of person, I wanted somewhere to sort of document and organize all of these photos that I was taking, that I was uh, screenshotting, sort of keep them in like a nice orderly place to sort of keep the, keep the organization in place. So I thought, okay, purely for myself, I'll make sort of like a mood board on Instagram. And this was sort of before um, Instagram theme pages, especially in the tiny house niche were, were a thing so it wasn't sort of for any intention apart from for me to sort of organize my thoughts and tidy up my camera roll so i'd start sort of posting these pictures then sort of a few people started following here and there and then it got to about 100 followers after a few weeks and i was thinking why are these people following this account i mean it's purely it was in my head i was sort of intending for it to be like i said a bit of a mood board for me and then the account kept on growing kept on growing and it got to a stage where i had about a thousand followers and i was completely baffled by it i was completely amazed and people started dming me they said hey would you mind sharing a picture of my home? And I mean, it, it was a win-win. I'd get free content, they'd get free publicity. So I used to share people's houses, and well, I still do, um, share people's houses and give them a shout out on Instagram in return for some content. And it sort of worked like that and kept on building up. It got to the stage where there were sort of a few people messaging every day asking me to share their home. And it was at that stage that I sort of thought there was something there, that there was something to be built upon. That it was more than just a personal project for me. It could, it could grow into something in the future. And I've always been interested in business. I've always sort of loved the idea of having my own business, of running my own, running my own thing and obviously as life gets in the way it sort of was a bit on and off for the last few years 
but obviously since coronavirus since the lockdown it's sort of given me the time opportunity resources and stuff to be able to put a bit more a bit more energy into the account so i've sort of had all of these ideas at the back of my head that have finally sort of become to start to come to fruition so obviously the podcast that you're listening to now the updated website the rebrand tinyhouseideas.co.uk so i sort of looked at developing it from just a blog into sort of having a section for featured homes having a section to find a vacation and um, so a tiny house for next time you go on holiday you can find somewhere there to look through this global directory and the form find me a builder as well and obviously the builders list and um, doing some advertising for builders there that i approve of so yeah basically it's been a, a huge huge blessing to have this Instagram account and I sort of wanted to continue growing it because my my personal passion I see what sort of, see, I see myself hopefully 10 or 10 or 15 years down the line being able to sort of have this um, sustainable housing business here in the UK sort of bring more affordable housing to the UK and hopefully fix some of the issues with our housing market at the moment it's all sort of with the interest of building a community forming a community and sort of being able to do something cool online so that is what the podcast is all about so yeah like I said the plan for this podcast is a informal chat and um, I've got guests lined up for every episode this one obviously is just me so you can sort of get a bit of an insight into what it's going be about that sort of stuff but yeah every episode will be more of a informal chat with people related to tiny houses whether it be they own a tiny house whether it be they run a tiny house business or they're sort of big on personal development or entrepreneurialism so there's tons and tons of guests that you guys can listen to you can watch it on youtube you can listen on spotify you can listen on apple Podcasts, you can listen on google podcasts and rather than sort of me straight firing questions at them, I thought it'd be interesting just for you guys to hear us have a chat. And if you've got any suggestions for questions, for guests, for episodes, then please shoot me a DM on Instagram, Tiny House Ideas. Yeah, I just feel really grateful to have made these connections and I hope to sort of share these connections with you and hopefully form a community and make some friends. Um, and talking about that's actually a good segue into Patreon. Obviously, I'm doing the podcast for free. I've put hundreds of hours into it. But if you'd like to support um, support the podcast in return for some behind the scenes content, for some perks and bonuses, then I also have a Patreon page where you can support there if you're able to, if you'd like to. Obviously, no pressure as always. You can get full extended video episodes. So the podcast format is going to be a 10 minute YouTube video with the sort of snippets of the best bits and then an hour long audio and that will be on all the major podcast platforms but if you prefer sort of watching and interacting on youtube or as, as a video format then that's only available on patreon there's also early access because over lockdown i've filmed 12 of these podcast episodes and they're all available to access straight away on patreon if you sign up on there and then also a discord group we've got where we can sort of have a discussion about the podcast we can have a discussion about the guests um, insights things we've taken away from it stuff like that a couple of the episodes coming up next episode i'm joined by joseph from a adu company in LA so Neo Builders they specialize in building accessory dwelling units so we're going to have a chat about the sort of financial side of that the return on investment if you're looking to do it as an Airbnb and just the benefits really of sort of having a separate space if you own a property um, so that'd be really interesting for you guys that are homeowners that are looking for a bit of extra monthly income the second episode we're talking to Molly Molly lives in a tiny house she's sort of able to explore her creative ventures and to live life on her own terms so we'll be sort of giving you some actionable tips there and then other episodes we've got other tiny house owners we've got a New York Times bestselling author, we've got a TV personality, we've got entrepreneurs, business people and also tiny house builders so sort of some of the big tiny house companies that you'll be aware of from Instagram I'm sure and from YouTube and stuff like that we'll be talking to some of the owners of those companies about sort of behind the scenes look into what goes on what goes on at a tiny house company and what goes into the tiny houses so it's sort of more than more than you'd imagine is is a bit of a, a bit of a teaser but yeah so I've got um, 12 episodes pre-recorded I'm going to continue recording new ones obviously early access is available on patreon but if not then every sunday the timings of the podcast is going to be every sunday at 9 a.m pacific standard time which is for me here in the uk it's 4 p.m for eastern standard time it's 12 midday so yeah new episode every sunday continuing on and going to be discussing minimalism tiny houses personal development and loads more stuff so i'm really really excited to be sharing this podcast with you thank you for listening to a bit more about me i hope you guys have got an insight into into me and into tiny house ideas and i hope you're looking forward to listening to the conversations with people in the tiny house space and hopefully gaining some actual tips to live a more fulfilling life with less so thank you very much and have a great week